one until my next driving lesson, which is Saturday. So I'll possibly put another one on Sunday because I've been, I think I've been doing, playing too many on. Uh, I, d I did a response a bit ago about self harming to Little Lizzie, and I just want to elaborate on something from that time in my life when I was feeling those ways. Um, yeah, I most of the time when I was depressed, I would write things, silly little things, and I thought I found one when I was doing that video about ten points. I think it was in the same folder as all the letters I had, so I thought I might share it with you if no one comes and interrupts me now. I was interrupted by my sister but I'll carry on now, she's gone out of the room. I've only got very quick to do this because I don't really want to read this in front of her because it's very personal and I haven't shared it with anyone but I thought I'd put it on here because I don't know if I, I could grab people's opinions about it. I'm not sure about if I'm going to post it yet or not or how long I'm going to keep it up. Um, anyway, I'll start reading it if I can find out which one's the... I haven't got a title of it, it's just some writing I did in media once when I was on my own. I think this is the start. When things in your life start messing up, then your view on life messes up. It affects you throughout, you find yourself not being the person once knew. You look into the mirror and see a strange staring back. That's when you know you're messed up. Day in and day and out, using different methods to disguise who you are. Wearing makeup to hide the ugliness you think you are. Drinking till you don't know, don't and can't think anymore. No one on the outside can see the inside. No one you believe can see the outside. That's when you know you're now messed up. Your thoughts distorting one one word picked out from the rest. No one knows, no one suspects. Happiness shown to the whole world. No one knows you are manically depressed. On the boredness of insane. Don't want to look what, what's staring you back. Trying to come out of yourself. Till you are pretending to yourself. Now looking out of something you don't relate to anymore. Everyone laughing and joking. You mean nothing to them. You are just a quiet mouse in the corner. Never speaks. So no one knows, no one knows who you are, and they really don't care. This is when you know you're messed up. You don't give a fuck anymore. Do you know, do you think anyone cares? Why should they? You don't give a fuck about them. You don't give a shit about anything. Or, or at least that's what you believe. Run away, run away. That can, could solve it, couldn't it? Wag it, smoke, drink, is it going to work? No, you just messed up. But you believe in this, everyone dissing what you believe, how does it feel? No, you don't know, because you don't do that anymore, or do you? Just carry on lying to yourself and that's going to help, don't, isn't it? Oh, that's what you hope, you, you can sort it, this feeling. How though when you don't know where it's from? So you go into your shell and hide behind. Make up unhappiness envelopes. What are you going to do? Nothing. Yeah, that's the answer. Yeah, right. Laughing you in the face is your self-conscious. That knows you are wrong, but you don't know. Don't listen, do you? That's a laugh of a question, isn't it? That's what I did when I was about in year 11. Sounds really weird and everything, but um, sorry, I can't read it well. Well, oh, writing's a bit faded. I think I must have been writing with the pedals in it. But um, yeah, that's the kind of the basis of how I was feeling at the time when I used to think about cutting, when I used to think about self harming. I used to think those things, and I don't know if that means I'm 21, so I'm gonna go now. Bye. <laughs>